Hi, this is Eunice, and welcome to How to Upgrade Laptop Memory. This tutorial was specifically designed for individuals who have little experience on how to upgrade a laptop and who have a desire to learn more. Please find upon its conclusion a short quiz which is based upon the instruction of this course. Thank you. Course Introduction how to Upgrade Laptop Memory will show how to upgrade the RAM of a laptop in a safe and effective manner. From this learning experience, we will do more than conduct simple upgrading procedures and steps. We will learn about the various aspects that can affect a successful upgrade and learn about some of the disadvantages. To put it simply, this tutorial will aid us in determining whether performing an upgrade on a laptop makes sense. Objectives Upon completion of this tutorial, we should be able to identify and list at least three significant reasons why it may or may not be practical and cost effective to upgrade a laptop. We should learn at least three ways to improve a laptop's performance prior to an upgrade. And also, we should be able to use good judgment in determining whether the laptop under consideration is worth a memory module upgrade. Learning tips. For a smoother learning experience, on a few of the slides, you will notice the phrase, click to learn more. This will direct you to the reference section, which contains various websites for further review and research. In order to return to that page that you left, click on the link with the name of the tutorial page located at the bottom of the reference page. Wikilink. To use as a centralized location for this tutorial in order to share comments, suggestions, and research findings, the wiki for how to upgrade laptop memory has been set up for collaboration for those participating in this learning process only. The wiki group link for how to upgrade laptop memory is indicated below. Before upgrading laptop, consider the various ways to improve its performance. Use the Disk Defragmenter to rearrange and condense files on the hard drive. Click on Start, All Programs, Accessories, and then System Tools for this feature. Closing out unnecessary applications while working on your laptop can also reduce overworking the operating system. Removing unused and outdated applications or unwanted files is also helpful. And periodically cleaning the browser cache and cookies can improve browsing performance. Note, be sure to know, however, deleting cookies could also erase auto-filled forms and auto-filled passwords, which would allow access to previously visited websites. You can click to learn more. Before we begin, we should have our prerequisites and requirements already completed before starting in order to facilitate the learning process. Conducting research on the laptop is very important. We should have an operable laptop, of course. We will need a miniature Phillips screwdriver or a small flathead screwdriver to open up the memory module socket. We should, of course, have basic computer knowledge to navigate within the operating system to learn whether or not the laptop upgrade was a success. And we should definitely know the memory module types or the types of memory chips needed for the upgrade. DDR, DDR2, and DDR3 are the major types of laptop modules. Before purchasing a memory module, we need to know our laptop. For example, we should have adequate knowledge on the manufacturer's recommendations as far as the level of RAM or the short version memory that the model of a laptop can most effectively and efficiently use. Um, by the way, um, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Please click to learn more if you like. The amount of modular slots the laptop contains is important, as well as the type of performance we can possibly expect after the upgrade and whether or not it would be worth our time, money, and effort to perform. Module Feature Note it is important to know that there is a small spacing gap on the edge of the module, which should align with the notch on the module socket. 
A laptop should not receive another type of module other than what was specified by the manufacturer. Please be careful to select the correct module for the laptop. Know the process. Before doing an upgrade, clearly understand the best possible results achievable. Exceeding RAM capacity recommended by the manufacturer will not guarantee improved performance. Doing so may even stall your operating system. Find out whether your laptop is using the maximum amount of RAM recommended. This can be found out in your operating system area, which is explained later in this tutorial, or by viewing the laptop's manual. What is latency? Understanding the best possible results achievable in an upgrade is important to us. Among other factors, we should determine whether latency matters. Latency involves the speed a memory module or memory chip can read and transmit information on a computer. Latency performance, depending upon the use of the laptop, can be difficult to distinguish. Click to learn more if you like. Other factors, some unknown, can weigh in when it comes to a laptop's performance. So think it over before spending additional dollars for this feature. Protect the laptop. As we've heard, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So investing in an anti-static wrist strap or an anti-static pad is highly recommended. Remove static electricity by grounding prior to touching laptop components is extremely important. Please click if you would like more information. Um, note, static electricity can cause severe damage to your laptop. Please take all precautions to ground yourself prior to performing the upgrade. What is your decision? Based upon your research, is it practical to upgrade? Do you expect that the upgrade will have significant improvement upon performance? Do you anticipate that the laptop will last for at least another year or more? Have you tried to clean your laptop in order to improve its performance? Is the model of the laptop outdated? If upgrading a laptop makes sense. But first, this is important. If you have doubts as to whether you should perform a laptop memory upgrade, then do not do it. It is always best to rule on the side of caution and rely upon a laptop expert knowledgeable about upgrading a laptop. At least upon completing this tutorial, you should have a better understanding of what is involved in a laptop memory upgrade. But if you are confident about this process, then let the memory upgrade begin. Safety Essentials Make sure that the working area is not conducive to static electricity. Avoid being near objects such as rolling chairs, carpeting, and electrical appliances which can increase the potential for static electricity. Note, all it takes is a small amount of static electricity to cause damage, the results of which may be evident days, weeks, or even months later. Properly close down laptop. Please do not place your laptop on hibernate. Close all applications and files properly. Backing up your PC would be a huge plus. Disconnecting power cord from the laptop as well as removing the battery will be the first steps. Tools and items should be ready. Let us start by first flipping the laptop upside down and then find the location of the memory module socket. Please remove or unloosen the screws carefully from the module socket cover. Note, placing a small container nearby in case the screws come off the module socket cover should be considered in order to prevent loss. Video presentations. Note, on the upcoming slides are two videos demonstrating segments of the upgrading process. Please click on the icon placed in the heading of the page or bypass if you would like to proceed to the rest of the tutorial. Thank you. Memory chip or memory module has a small gap of space on its rim that accommodates a small notch on the module socket. This serves as a guide for proper insertion. Different module types can have different spacing positions. 
Here is a closer view of the module socket. Video demonstration one. This will be the first of two video demonstrations during this tutorial. If you would like, you can continue with the tutorial or click on the icon in the header to see a visual of the first steps involved in a laptop upgrade. Thank you. Preparing a laptop. After taking the necessary precautions, such as 1. Backing up the hard drive, 2. Properly shutting down the laptop, 3. Removing power cord and battery, and 4. Eliminating static electricity by grounding, we can now confidently proceed. Removing old module. If the laptop has a memory module in place, using our thumbs, we will carefully, without touching other components, simultaneously press against both flexible placeholders so that it releases the memory module. Holding the outer edge of the module only, remove it from the slot. Repeat the above steps as necessary for additional modules. Module placeholders. Notice inside the module socket there are pairs of flexible tabs which hold the modules carefully in place. Video demonstration 2. This is the second and last demonstration. If you would like to click on the icon in the header for a visual um, display, please do so. Otherwise, continue with this tutorial. By holding down the other outer edges as you did with the previous modules, Carefully align it with the notch and firmly insert into the bottom spot first if there are additional modules to insert. Otherwise, you can place it in the top slot. The memory module may have to be pressed firmly in order to snap it to place. Please repeat steps if necessary. We're almost done. After inserting the memory module and replacing the cover, the battery, and the power cord, Flip the laptop right side up and turn the laptop on. Checkpoints. To make sure that the memory module is properly working, let's go to the My Computer or Task Manager, which should provide the system information. Note, depending upon the operation system, the My Computer screen should automatically display at the bottom of your screen the information pertaining to the capacity of the laptop's memory. If not, perform the following step. Checkpoint A. For system information, click on Start and then Computer. On the blank area of the screen, right-click, then select Properties. Memory Capacity Confirmation. Note. You should now see the information pertaining to the operation system of your laptop, which includes memory capacity. If the information does not align with the volume of memory installed, repeat the process in order to ensure that the memory module has been properly inserted. Checkpoint B. If you desire to view your memory capacity another way, go to Task Manager by simultaneously clicking and holding the Control or Delete keys or you can simply right-click on the taskbar. Select the Performance tab and look under Physical Memory, which is a megabyte to view the amount of memory available. Mission accomplished, right? We should be able to see from this point that the volume of memory that has been inserted is in use. We should all have a fully functional laptop with upgraded memory that should facilitate our PC experience. Troubleshooting. Problems? Hope not. Yet if the laptop does not reflect the proper level of RAM, even after repeating the installation process, please replace the old memory module to double check that the slots were not damaged. If the old memory module works properly, then it is possible that the newly installed memory module may have a defect. Congratulations! 
if you've experienced your first successful laptop upgrade. Thank you for joining me on how to upgrade laptop memory. Whether you're new at this or very experienced, I hope that you found this learning experience both interesting and informative. References. If you would like additional information, please feel free to click on the links provided. Also, right after this is a brief quiz. It would be great if you take it. Thank you.